Do you hear the chorus of birds? Yeah. <laughs> Spring is definitely here and I kind of feel like Snow White sometimes. There's just so many, so many, <laughs> so many birds. I need to make some bird houses this year. I, I wish I got those birdhouse seeds um, that you can make like birdhouse seeds. Yes, because you know, a birdhouse just grows. <laughs> I'm rambling. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, today, I'm just going to show you our the garden boxes in my previous video with our raspberries in them and show you how much they grow. All right. So, over the weekend, we had a, a family... We had family come visit and they actually brought me some goodies. These two, we believe are blueberries. Uh, I, I feel that way because I have two blueberry bushes here and they are pretty similar in, in the leaves. This one, however, I have no idea what it is. Really, really don't. And I really have no idea what this is, <laughs> but it's pretty. I like it. So here's a little update on my little trees. I got these last summer. Uh, this is a, f these three here are figs. And this is the Olympian, little Ruby, and the Celeste fig. And I, I'm, I gotta say, I'm like, really excited for these. I actually love figs, but I'd never eaten one fresh before. So I have a long time to wait, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, these two are um, mulberry trees. Um, yeah, and there's, everyone's starting to come out from sleep. Very cool. Uh, I have a replacement raspberry here. I have a replacement raspberry here so we can replace the one in the bed over there because it did not make the winter sadly. I also have these little wisteria sticks <laughs> and that's what they literally are, wisteria sticks and I have no idea if they're alive but I'm keeping them in here. Here's another one right here. I would love to have wisteria around the house. I think that would be awesome. And those precious little bulbs, these roses. Don't know what we have yet. Probably could still use some more pruning. But I mean, since I cut it back, and I cut it back about here, it's already growing up. Fast climbers. <sighs> yeah, I need to uh, mow, weed whack, do something about that tall grass around the house. Here's my lilacs. And here's some flowers that I planted. And I got these bulbs when we first were getting the house. And I was just so excited to get them. And yeah, and they they came up this year. And that was such a nice gift. I, I love that. Uh, my hydrangeas are coming and coming up there. I love hydrangeas. And this is my first time growing them. And I honestly didn't think they were going to come up because they look like they died. <laughs> uh, they had leaves when I bought them and then they died. <laughs> it was very sad. Here's another hydrangea here. And this one's actually doing better than all the other ones. I, I actually bought four and two of them are, are actually coming up. So, so exciting, so exciting. Here's another rose bush. Uh, that one's just getting some bulbs now, and this is a grapevine, and I was wondering if it was still alive, and look at that, beautiful, oh my goodness. Oh, look, look at these. We finally bought our riding lawnmower huge purchase well worth it but I'm like just so excited and that's gonna help us out so so much 
All right, guys. So I'm actually trying to grow some lettuce and expand my growing space a little bit. I think something's been eating my my sprouts, but we got some lettuce coming up. Here are the raspberries. There's the radishes there. Very exciting. This is the one I'm replacing here. I had some green onions that we don't particularly just eat a ton of green onions, but I wanted to grow as much onions that I possibly can just to try to deter wildlife. <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm like so proud of this one. This one right here, I'm like so happy about. I've actually never had a golden raspberry fall. And these are my two marion berries. Honestly, these three are like my favorites and they're doing quite well. Uh, now it might just be about like when each berry it comes to harvest. So like one will probably grow faster than the other only because they're quicker to harvest. These guys, they're coming into their own. No biggie. I actually lined the whole bed here with shallots. Um, I think there's one right here sticking up. Yeah, I can show you what we got. See? Oh, my goodness. That was not there. <laughs> that was not there when I planted it. Oh, my God. It grew that much. I just planted these. Holy crap. I am so, so sorry, Mr. Shallot. Let me get you back in there. Holy moly. I'm so sorry. Get in there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to be growing that fast. Oh my gosh. Dude, I just put these in. I just put you guys in. That's crazy. And so exciting. All right. I love it. Okay. And it's still pretty early morning. I guess, about nine, but and I know that these are just maybe weeds to some, but look at this, look at the sight with the sun coming right over the mountains, so pretty, and look at these interesting purple flowers, I have been seeing such awesome flowers, very cool. An update on our pond. It's no longer overflowing off to the side, but it's still rather full. And I went on a ride recently and we actually still have snow around us. So it, the snow may or may not be melting. And that's why we still have a continuous stream right now. <clears throat> So we're gonna have raspberries and blueberries, strawberries, and eventually I'm hoping next year I can start growing lots of grapes over there. I'm not sure what kind of grapes yet. <laughs> There's a vineyard not too far from me and they obviously grow lots of grapes. And I'm kinda I've been trying to work up the courage to talk to them and see what they're growing so we'll see we'll see also update finally planted some flowers in my baskets and i did plant some seeds but i am pretty confident they either did not germinate or the flower uh the flowers ate the flowers uh, no the birds ate the seeds which they've been hanging around quite often i actually got some new artichoke seeds 
my first batch did not, they all grew, but then my cat ate them, or no, she didn't eat them. She just took them out of the soil and tossed it like a rag doll. So, I actually got some new seeds, which is not easy to do, and I planted them here. So, this is basket, so cute. I planted them here, so we'll see. We'll see how they do. I'm very excited for it. Well, that was a little update from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!